Today we're going to be doing an absolutely essential part of any car's maintenance. We're changing the oil, the filter, and a new sump plug on this Corsa C from 2005. This procedure is going to be very similar for almost all makes and models, but always make sure to consult your owner's manual for the correct oil. To do this project, you're going to be needing safety glasses, a ratchet with a Torx bolt in my case, oil, an oil filter, a drain plug with new o-ring, a socket to loosen up your oil filter, an oil catch pan, jack stands, and a hydraulic jack. We start off this project by jacking up the car. Now always look for the specified jacking points, which are mostly indicated by a little indent in the floor of the car. So as you can see, we have now jacked up the car and it's supported by jack stands on both sides of the vehicle. Now we need to locate our sump drain plug, which for me is located right here. Now we know where our sump drain plug is, we can slide our oil catch pan right underneath. Then we can break loose our drain sump plug, which in my case had to be done with a breaker bar. When the oil plug is broken free, you can loosen it all the way down with your fingers. As with draining oil, there is quite a risk of oil getting on your hands or on your arms. It's very important not to do this when the oil is hot. This means only change oil when the engine is cold. To help the oil drain faster, you can open up the oil cap on the top of the engine. This is also the moment to change the oil filter. All you need is your ratchet and your socket, and a few turns should break it loose. In my case, the oil filter is located on top of the engine, which means when removing it, there is quite a risk of spilling oil all over the floor. So make sure to use some newspaper or towels underneath to catch any leaking oil. As you can see, this oil filter was due for a change. By now, much of the oil should already have drained, so you can close the engine oil cap. Before the installation of the new oil filter, make sure to clean the oil filter housing first. Also, and this is very important, remove the rubber o-ring that is now present on the oil filter housing. This ring is likely worn out and will be replaced by a new one which is included with the oil filter. Then, it's time to click the new oil filter in place and also reattach the new rubber seal. To ensure a good airtight seal, it's important to also coat this new ring with some of the new engine oil. Now, to make the reinstallation much more easy, you can unclip the coolant hose and move it aside to make way for the filter housing. Now it's just a matter of hand tightening it in, and then using a ratchet or ideally a torque wrench to tighten it to spec. Make sure not to over tighten this cap because it's made of plastic and if you tighten it hard enough it will crack. With the filter in place you can now reinstall the oil sump plug. Now make sure to either use a new rubber washer, a metal washer or a new sump plug altogether. In the case of the Corsa the new sump plugs are about 2 euro 50 and they come with a new rubber ring already attached so I use those. You can use a ratchet to tighten them and afterwards torque them down to spec. In the case of the Corsa that's about 10 newton meters or 7 foot pounds. With the sump plug installed, we can now proceed with filling the engine with oil. Now always check for the correct oil and the correct amount of oil in your owner's manual. In my case, I need to use 5W30 and about 3.5 liters. So that's what I went with. Also, if it's possible, try to use high grade synthetic oil. These last much longer and are much better for your engine than conventional oils. After you refilled the car with the new oil, you can take out the oil drain pan underneath the car and pour it into a jerry can or other closed container. In my case, I used an old oil jerry can that I had lying around. Always make sure to do this in a closed container and recycle your oil at your local recycling center. Oil is very bad for the environment as it will contaminate groundwater. So whatever the case, do not just drain it. For some extra leakage protection during transport, I also packed my jerry can in a plastic bag. After that, we can take the car off the jacks, check if we've done a good job. With the car on level ground, we're going to do a first check to see if there's actually oil in the engine and how much oil there is. You always want your oil to sit somewhere between high and low. In the case of the Corsa, High and low are indicated by little notches in this metal dipstick. After you've verified that there's at least oil in the engine and it's somewhere between high and low, we can start the car and let it idle for 5 to 10 minutes to make sure it gets up to operating temperature. 
After that, we're going to check the oil again to make sure that there's still enough oil in the sump even after we have run the oil and the oil has gone through the entire engine and coated the entire engine with a thin layer of oil. As you can see, we did a terrific job, so we can close the hood and drive off. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more car related content.